Fresh hope in Durban, climate change talks edge towards a legally binding deal to cut emissions. Fears of violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. President Kabila wins a second term in office, but the opposition rejects the result. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. I'm Martine Dennis. Also to come, back in Britain after saying no to Europe, but has David Cameron placed an unbearable strain on his coalition government? Hollywood hubbub. Find out why one of the world's most iconic landmarks is causing grief for the locals. Opposition groups claim that in a few hours' time, they'll hold the biggest demonstration in Russia for 20 years. Tens of thousands of people are expected to protest in Moscow, and thousands more could attend rallies across the country. Now, demonstrators are angry at widespread allegations of vote ringing during last Sunday's parliamentary elections. Here's our Moscow correspondent, Daniel Sandford. It's completed its final journey in the early hours of this morning. The vehicles were controversial from the start because of safety concerns and criticisms over fare dodging, but they were praised by disability campaigners for easy access. That's it. Coming up next, World Football Focus. Ben Brandt, BBC News. You're with BBC World News. We've got a lot more to come, including Brazil. Turns to technology to stem the damage caused by mudslides and heavy rains. Our top stories here at BBC World News this morning. In Russia, big demonstrations are expected in Moscow and in other cities to challenge the outcome of parliamentary elections. Delegates at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in South Africa may be edging towards an agreement on cutting greenhouse gas emissions. Now, every year, heavy rains and mudslides cause death and destruction in Brazil. As another rainy season approaches, the authorities are stepping up their efforts to reduce the danger. As Paulo Cabral reports now from Rio de Janeiro, high-tech methods are now being employed to provide early warning of heavy rains. Alessandra de Oliveira Mati. Mechanism as Germany and the core. Justin Erkut Stewart, thank you very much indeed. Now remember, if you want to keep right up to date with developments on the Euro saga, as it's turned out to be, of course you can go to the BBC website where our Europe editor in particular, Gavin Hewitt, has written a very interesting blog as to um, how the, the, the summit was conducted. And also, of course, you can keep up to date with today's news because, of course, we're keeping a very close eye on what's going on in Russia today. BBC.com forward slash news. The biggest protests of the Putin era are expected across Russia following allegations of electoral fraud. Stalemate in Durban, climate change talks go into overtime in a final bid to rescue a deal. Tens of thousands of people are expected to protest in Moscow and thousands more could attend rallies across the country in what opposition groups claim are the biggest demonstrations for 20 years. Demonstrators claim the ruling United Russia Party cheated in last weekend's parliamentary elections. Here's our Moscow correspondent, Daniel Sanford. All this week, this... That's it from the newsroom for now. Coming up next, Nobel Minds.